it is Halloween on a on a oh and I'm at the next to the inverse and Penna Avenue station RTD station I'm making a walking video of going to the RTD station in uh, uh, And it's done. Uh, it's a long fucking walking back. It's that street over there. I was gonna eat at that diner, but I. I don't know because. I mean, I will, but. Not right away. I'm so fucking thirsty. I think I'm gonna get some pop. It's probably gonna take a couple of cans of Coke to wipe this damn fucking thirst off. Hey, Richfield Street. I'm in Richfield, Minnesota. No, I'm afraid not. They, it'd be fucking cool if they had Trons there. Someday they could have... It's close. It's close to Mall of America. They got the Blue Line Trons go there, and then they have... Uh, one thing ain't going to be able to change. Not going to be able to put mountains in Richfield. Why is there a shoe there? <laughs> Chief, it was someone who's good looking, I like to sniff it. But not in the video. <laughs> but I don't know whose shoe it is. It's probably someone who's really ugly with my luck. <laughs> I talk about interesting things when I make a video. At least I'm walking away from the sun. Oh fuck, I don't even know what time it is. The reason I'm making a video, Heather, I mean, if I come back, when I come back here, and assuming that Putin don't watch nuclear warheads or they're trying to create another COVID pandemic that would cause the out of person, 80% of people get it the COVID. You know, none of that shit happens. This could be on big suburb. With co Apartment luxury apartments and all that bullshit, but maybe there'll be section bots housing in there. <laughs> well, those, who, those who cannot afford it can have a place to live. <laughs> Even should be able to wherever the fuck, wherever the fuck they want. Uh, there shouldn't be a cutthroat housing market. Uh, Schedule your tour today. <laughs> Live. Oh, whatever. Flip. Proximo. It's next to the Stowash, and so people have Trons to ride. <laughs> and a Sonic has a place here. I don't know that. I probably won't eat at the diner because I'm so fucking thirsty that I have to, not until after I get this thirst quenched, check email and things like that. I'm saying they have free breakfast from 4 a.m. <laughs> until On the early I'm up. I didn't have it because I ate a golden crawl last night. I didn't really feel like eating, so I didn't have it. I'll get it tomorrow, though. My last day staying here. I stayed another place in the Denver area tomorrow. All oh, these fucking shoes got untied. Oh, God. How long is this video? Only one and a half minutes. I go all the way to that fucking street, then walk another who blocks. And that's the only thing that fucking. I mean, you might be able to drive one park closer, but I don't know if it's okay to park on those streets. It looks like it might be. You also don't know if they're public streets or private streets. Oh, 
fucking shit you have to worry about. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't look so I get too far, but unfucking fortunately it is. Oh new L of luxury L of flats, that's what we fucking need, more unaffordable housing. Uh People should teach people about the law of attraction so this shit will end. Poverty will end. <sighs> yeah, I need to get this thirst under control. I wouldn't be surprised if I go through cans of pop when this thirst is quenched. I'm that fucking thirsty. Elevated Penstoshin. Elevate. Oh, Penastoshin. This is called Penastoshin. There's a Penstoshin in New York. I heard it's scummy, but it's interesting. I thought they remodeled it though. So I was like in a. Just like a food. Like a small grocery store or something in Penstoshin. And they had holes in the floor. He he said hole. <laughs> but you could actually see the trons down below. That sounded like something that I would experience in a dream. But it happened in real life. I know this is very suburban. But by building trons, they're doing something right. They need more trons, but at least they're doing something right. Getting more transit so people can get around easily and quickly. <laughs> if buses and trons ran if 10 minutes or more often, it would, if 10 minutes would be uh, slightly slower than driving. An area with bad traffic, it would be, might even be quicker. Uh, uh, someday it might be affordable to live in Denver and anywhere the, where the fuck you want to live. <clears throat> I don't know what's going to happen in my lifetime, but. Hopefully someday this bullshit will end. I mean, it looks, looks more like a dystopia in a lot of places. With homeless encampments and all that shit. Oh, God. Yeah, yesterday I went to Columbine. No trip to Colorado is complete without visiting Columbine. Especially if we were bullied. And I saw the memorial. And I don't know if I've seen so much bullshit. I won't cover everything because I want to be able to put it on YouTube. They said the victims of Columbine were angels from God and I didn't know bullies were angels from God. I don't know who... <laughs> I don't know since when a bully was an angel from God. <laughs> a bully is a demon from hell. <laughs> and they act like their shit don't stink. But I'm sure it does. <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm fucking thirsty. I got lost when I was in Denver. I feel safer making a video here than in Denver. And really, I don't know if I can count different parts because I kept getting lost. Ended up in shithole neighborhoods. 
where it's not safe to even be there. And one of the clubs I wanted to go to was located in that shithole neighborhood. I don't think I'm gonna go in any safe in the daytime. I certainly don't think it's safe at night. A diner place which ain't a buffet and fucking fortunately but it's kind of difficult to go to a buffet on a night where I gotta worry about going out and everything Hopefully, there's one. I think there's only one place to choose from where it's easy to find parking, though. And there's another place on Colfax Avenue in Denver. Oh, surveillance cameras. Big Brother's watching. I don't know if that's only temporary because of the construction. <laughs> Do people really want to pay a lot of money to live in a police state? Just don't give a fuck if they're being fucked with and being violated and oppressed and controlled. These people are stupid fucking apes. They like being controlled. They get brainwashed, duped into believing it. They have very weak minds and they don't fucking fight back against it. On top of that, they breed. <laughs> And they overpopulate the planet. And they tell their kids that their purpose in life is to live in shit and be slaves. Yeah, it really makes a lot of fucking sense. If everything is shit and there's no future, don't fucking procreate. Yeah, so this is why I'm making this video is just to get a gist of what it kind of looks like around here. As I keep saying, Yampa. Street got the rhymes with Tampa. Uh, I hate it having the fucking sun hitting everything. Uh, and having to be in the sun walking and making a video makes it kind of difficult. I think I'm just going to stop this and make a part of this video as I head back. Yeah, I guess it was a productive day learning about Denver. It takes one day for that. It takes a day to go to Columbine. It takes a day to arrive. I think there's only a couple days left. 